Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Tag Team Portugal with my friend Jen. How's it going, Jen? It's going pretty well. Um, your your buddy Cancer wants to know if we want a marriage. Sure, why not Cancer? Let's marry Cancer. Hey, look. Also, <laughs> Rebels. Great Britain's no longer a valid rival. Aw. One war. Done. All right, we're going to pick Russia. And we're going to pick Venice. Fantastic. Well, welcome back, everybody. We are... We just peaced out with Great Britain. We're going to be selling some land to our vassal Madonna so we can get underneath the 100 overextension thing. There we go. And he bought it. Okay, we're good. No longer over 100. See? That was easy. We're losing battles. Why are we losing battles? I don't know. Oh, because rebels spawned on our, on our head. That's why. Where are all these rebels coming from? We're at 100. We were over 100% overextension for a moment. Mm. And so when you're we over 100%... Shouldn't, we shouldn't do that. Rebel... Um, growth is doubled 20 percent every every time it updates ah that makes a big difference yeah i think we're okay though i really don't see that many rebels just those three stacks yeah we can handle it are you still selling provinces to madonna oh one last province to sell there we go done all right so we're ready for war so it's time for Russia to die. Am I right? Uh, yeah, we can we can go to war right now. We we do have a little bit of war exhaustion, but who cares about that? War exhaustion? What's that? I don't know. We all we also only have two hundred sixty-seven thousand manpower. We gain five thousand four hundred troops per month now. It's pretty <laughs> That's good. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. It's very nice. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Makes me want to see that movie again too. <laughs> Oh, my roommate was trying to get me to watch the, the the next one where he's playing that Austrian guy. I couldn't watch it. It's terrible. You remember the song that he sang about throwing the Jew down the well? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Are you going to declare this war or not? I'm waiting on you. I'm doing rebel negotiation right now. I'm okay. parking okay, armies okay. around and stuff. You do it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. We do war. Now remember, we're going to give Peepa some land that's going to... I don't think we talked about this on the stream. We talked about it between episodes, though. His capital is now Nizhny Novgorod. So we're going to we're going to give Peepa some land that will block off Nizhny Novgorod from uh, Asia, right? So he's not going to have any contact with Asia anymore. Mm -hmm. And the whole goal for that is that even though our vassals have, um, they have development efficiency, we can't be sure, well, we could check it, but we can't be sure that they actually have claims or adaptability. So by making it all considered distant overseas, they'll get minus 50% and their development efficiency. So we're just making it all cheap for them too. So we can feed them, the plan. feed them land super fast. Because like Peepus has been having a hard time. He hasn't actually caught up on admin tech. So he only has administrative uh, admin efficiency level 2. He, he doesn't have level 3 yet. Will the AI tech up even if he's at negative stability like that? No. He'll core first and then he'll tech up. Then he'll stability up. And then he'll try to tech up. Well, you'll be happy to know that Reykjavik, Iceland, is now Portuguese culture. Nice. Because why not? <laughs> You're just spending all of our points. <laughs> Screw points. <laughs> well, development seems so nonsensible. Like, what's the point? You know? Development yeah. was a very interesting change to the game, but the whole idea of manually increasing your development, I just, it's never going to be superior to Conquest, so it just feels like a, okay, that's nice, but why do it? What would be really nice is if you, uh, if your development increased over time. Well, like that, if you're, if you're at positive stability, maybe that encourages your nation to, you know, focus on development. You know, it's if funny. If you have high army tradition, maybe you get some military development. You know, stuff like that. If you don't have common sense, then development has random events to increase your development. Really? Yeah. Remember, you remember before common sense when you would occasionally get that random event that would increase base tax by like one or two? It's essentially yes, replaced. Yes. It replaced that event, except that now it's dependent on, um, you know, it's a different type. It'll. It's not one specific type of development it'll be it's like random or something our vassal ai smirt has just attacked russia 31 versus 75 
Yeah, he knows. He, he knows. He's good. Wow. Keepus, meanwhile, is forced marching away to Yaroslav. He's like, screw that. <laughs> I don't want to get involved in that. That's stupid. And we have a 37 stack that's just like, I'm going to Gaelic. <laughs> but yeah. How are we doing on our cores? Are they coming along? I don't know. Yeah. September 19th of right. 70. Yeah, about a year away. It's looking fine. So what's the plan for the peace deal here? We're going to give AI Smurt more of the north. So we need to go We need to go really far into Siberia in this war. Yeah. And then Blight's going to... I would like I would like to see Blight touch uh, Jianzu. Jianzu? Well, why don't we just go through Oirat? Because Oirat's got no allies. We can, but remember, we only... Right now, we only have AI Smart, Blight, and Peepus to eat mm -hmm. Russia. And, mm -hmm. and Peepus is just the run to the litter there. He's, he's having a really hard time with it, so Blight's got to help out. And that giving him Moscow was just a bad idea because he had to spend so many points on it. Maybe. How much development was it? It's only twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Yeah, it's, it's not, not that much. No, he's just he's just a runt. He's we a should, derp. We should take him out back and shoot him, eat him for dinner. <laughs> um, in this war, we definitely need to give cancer uh, that Signac province. Yeah. So that he he can actually connect through Bukhara, and I think that cancer should eat Oirat. Cancer should eat Oirat. Or possibly the southern half of Oirat straight through Delhi. If you really wanted Blight to eat the top half of Oirat. Whatever. But you know, the sooner we get Blight touching Jianzu, the sooner we can start juggling truce timers. And that still leaves mashed potatoes. Mm, mashed potatoes. I feel like... I like the way you said that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, Madonna... We, it's almost like we need more. Because <laughs> Blight's way up there. Cancer's got to come down through Delhi. That leaves mashed potatoes going through like the center-ish of Delhi below that wasteland area. Like through that Nepalish area. Yeah. And then that leaves Madonna going through the northern half of India. And then we've got to take the southern tip of India because there's no one else to take it. Although it's going to be crappy territory for us. But Madonna can't core all of India. No. And I wouldn't wouldn't want one vassal to be that big anyway. Hey, we converted Mecca. How about that? Let's really get something for doing that. Yeah. Your overextension is dangerously high. Oh shit, we're under attack. It's okay, Blight's coming. I like Blight's little map symbol. Did you say you got rid of your Poland Ball mod? Uh, I, I uninstalled it, yeah. How come? You were all I, about it. It was fun for a long time. Hmm. I liked it because it added, it added some, what do you call it? Some jovial, some jovialness. What's the term for that? Joviality, whatever. It made it, it made it goofy, and I kind of like it when it's goofy because this game gets, gets very serious sometimes. I get very angry at the game sometimes. Oh, we lost the battle. I thought you said Blight was going to help us. He, he did. Help. Oh, he did. Oh God, AI Smirt just attacked ten versus sixty. AI Smirt, what are you doing? <laughs> No, AI not smirt. No. Isn't that the joke? Dot JPJ. Oh God. JPG. That's the joke. AI smirt. And the oh, God damn it, AI smirt. Okay, come on, Shan. We don't have much time until we have to core this. I mean, the cores are done. By the way, we have major Greek separatists about to fire. Let it happen. I don't know. All the Greece is upset, so we can't. Well, let can't, it. Let it happen. We have a general down there. Yeah, but this army doesn't need to be here. That general you rolled is actually pretty good. He doesn't have any siege pips. So? Oh no, we were discovered fabricating on France. Let's go home. Hmm. What? It's taken us a long time to actually get rid of... to get, to get these last offensive ideas. You know, we can tech up admin again. I think we should focus on military. I, I don't I don't see us having a shortage of admin points. Cause we're only paying one one ba one monarch point per development. So even if we ate like all of our border with France, that's like 
I don't know, 300 admin? Are you trying to convince me of something? I think we should switch our focus to military so we can knock out another military idea group. Oh. You sure about that? Pretty sure. Y you sure you want to do that? Well, doesn't infantry combat ability and more discipline seem nice? Oh, yes. Granted, the three ones about ships are stupid, but... It would also give us a... Uh... Let's see, what kind of policy could we do? Ooh, expansion ideas. The Mining Act. Yearly Army Tradition, plus 0.5. Land Leader Fire, plus 1. Rebels. Nice. So Land Leader Fire, plus 1. That's sweet. Hey, and uh, if we wanted to take, if we hadn't getting, gotten rid of exploration, superior supply systems, land attrition minus 25%. We don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been goofy. Mm, yeah. What? I can't do anything. Yeah, it was, that, it was that thing again. Do you want to declare the statute in restraint of appeals? Is that the one where you piss off the Pope? Yeah. Why would you do that? I don't know. He obviously hates us already. That's why it's even available. It has to be like negative 70 or something. Negative 50. Yeah. Treaty of Tortillas, negative 128 relations. Wow. Apparently it's going up because that was at like negative 100 recently. Yeah. Every time we colonize in the California region, it goes up. Every time. Which is so dumb. Like if it, if it happens once, fine. But not every single time. Because you already get a penalty on your colonization rate, right? You colonize a lot slower because of that. By yeah. the way, we have 82,000 ducats. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. What about it? What are, what are we going to do with all this money? We're going to make the uh, the other canal. The Keel Canal. Is it not built yet? It's still not built. Well, we haven't had the opportunity clearly, to actually do it. Clearly, we need to build it. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to fabricate on Holstein and go take it. Build the damn canal. Okay. Okay? You convinced? This is a good idea? I. You're sending our non-siege general to go siege a province. A fort. Uh, doesn't matter. It, you put the siege pip general in that army. Nah. Use the good army for combat. For combat. No. I'm in administrative mode. I'm just sieging forts. I don't care where they are. I can't, I can't change generals because I have to pause the game to do it. That's so dumb. Multiplayer is dumb. You're dumb. Multiplayer is dumb, Arumba. You're dumb. <laughs> I can't change generals. I would just everything. Very nice. We no longer accept Moroccan culture. We no longer accept Mo uh, Lombard culture. Damn it. <laughs> it's okay. I, I know I have a solution for that. There's buttons we can click. Yeah, that's it's kind of interesting that once you have the Imperialism CB, you no longer need Diplo points for anything except the next thing vassals, which we're not doing. Yeah. So we might as well just culture convert everything. You know what this is probably going to be in the next patch, which is still not even named, as far as I know, the next expansion. Someone's going to conquer the world, but they're also going to have it be one culture. Yeah, why not? That'll be like the next big major world conquest that I could maybe imagine. My game it has crashed. No, Shen! But we're 15 minutes in. Yeah, well, we shouldn't have had 29 minutes on the last episode. You want to you wanna cut the previous episode? No. We'll cut like eight minutes off and kind of no. jimmy it onto this one. Relaunch your damn game. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm going to stop recording now. And we're back. Are we, I'm back. Did you go anywhere? I didn't go anywhere. I don't know. Uh, it's been like three hours since we played, so. No. Yeah, the world's over. Come is on, it? let's go. We're is at war it? with Russia. You're at war with Russia. Your face is at war with Russia. Come on. Okay. Unpause. There we go. Are you going to crash again? Yes. 100%. Okay. Crashy time. Okay. I have enabled constant crashes. Nice. Nice.
I like how yeah. Madonna is actually starting to grow a little bit. You notice how there's uh, Ottoman peasants that are occupying everything too. Oh, poor Ottomans. He's got such a rough time. Do you think we might be targeted by this whole revolution mechanic? Mm, I don't know how it works. I don't either. I've never really been the target of it. It's apparently a thing. Target of the revolution. Uh, well, I'm worried about fabricating on Mr. France over here, because I feel like we should be spending our points eating his face. We have so many admin points. Yes. We could check out four years early. No, I think we should just eat his face. Well, why don't we take the lands around the Black Sea for ourselves, since we have so many points. Okay. Yeah, that's not... That's part of Europe, so that'll be great. Yeah. Uh, we don't need to occupy it either. Nope. Does he even have an army? Uh, he does. I saw it. <laughs> it was in the north somewhere. Oh, he's got 20 guys in the south. The thing is, we declared on him while he's fighting another war. So he probably has his armies wandering around fighting the other war first. Yeah, he's he's really seen better days. Yeah, he has. But then again, we have his capital. So of course he's seen better days. You know? Yeah, I feel bad for him. No, you don't. You're right, I don't. Oh, okay, so this is interesting. So over in... Sur Why do we have nine troops in Sumatra? What are we doing over there? I don't know. Okay, so... Fully defensive. So this is this is some paradox math, Shen. I found paradox math. Oh god, we're getting attacked in Yorkshire. Wessex. Do you, do you want to hear the paradox math? I'm listening. What's up? Okay. If you look at Surgut, right? Surgut. Remember, remember how we've been like talking about how we have like very little attrition? Uh-huh. Default maximum attrition in EU4 right now is 5%. Unless right. you have fully defensive, which is apparently raising the cap to 6, and then we are getting it reduced by 60% from 6 down to a cap of 2.4. Oh, defensive raises the cap. Oh, you mean Russia has defensive? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So, that's interesting. Something was allowing us to go beyond the 2% cap we had calculated earlier from having 40% of 5. It was Russia. That would be Russia for you. But things like Arctic and Mild Winter and Siege aren't raising the cap. Yeah, they just affect how much you get up to the cap. Yeah. Which is silly. I really think they should raise and lower the cap. Well, maybe not lower the cap. The cap should never be lowered. That's, that's just a flaw. I personally don't think there should be a cap. I think that the cap is a handicap on AI. Is all that it is. Like, Eve, like CK2, you can, have a, you can lose 33% of your troops in one month if you are way, way over yeah. the supply limit. Yeah. And it makes sense, because guess what? If there's no food, there's no food. Like <laughs> Whoa. If that you have blew my mind. If you have too many troops, then they should die. Like I don't get where That's uh, that's like your opinion, man. Like what's so arbitrarily we're just gonna say that even though there's no food, only five percent of them will die? No, they just they just eat the people who die. That way they always have food so they don't they never die. Oh okay. That makes sense. So, there you go. Paradox promoting cannibalism. Great. Yeah, of course. Great. As hey, it, there's there's going to be an expansion that takes us back to like, uh, I want to say about maybe twelve hundred. You go like two hundred years in the past, and back then everyone ate each other. So that's what paradox is, is going to promote. They they just got to do it, you know, in small portions. So you're getting used to the cannibalism now, and then when the expansion comes out, you'll be fine with it. Okay. Yeah. I guess, yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. Sure. Cannibalism sounds cool. So you're down for chowing on your friends? Your neighbors? Sure, why not? Yeah, exactly. Poor Russia. Why are we beating up Russia? What has he done to deserve this? Um, He colonized all of Siberia. And it wasn't... Uh, it's the Treaty of Tortillas. Oh, we got the Treaty of Tortillas on him. Gotcha. Yeah. I can't I wait. Some tortillas. I can't wait to play Stellaris. Are you excited for Stellaris? I am. I want to play a Paradox Clausewitz game with colonization and expansion and all kinds of other cool stuff. 
except with in a randomized space. a randomized world. Yeah, a randomized in universe space. in space. Yeah. But it's not going to be randomized. It's going to be completely symmetrical from what they've said. Which I hope you can turn off. I hope we, I hope you can have non-symmetrical as well. Why are we receiving trade power from Malacca? Because he was our uh, protectorate for a while. I guess he's not anymore. Cancel that. Done. Hmm. Well, yeah. Well, okay. It'll so it's going to feature symmetrical starts, but it's going to have like exploration and stuff, which yeah, is what's going to be, which is what's going to be cool about. It. It's going to be different. And so that's what's going to. I guess that's really more what I, I meant. The same thing. Like it's going to be randomized because who you discover first, and like it's not going to be. Oh, I'm playing England. Yeah. Right. 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 And England is the same as every other campaign I've ever played that had an England in it. That had an England in it. Gotcha. Does yeah. it have any England in it? And yeah, most well, of I them play it. And most of them have Englands in them. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? This army is shattered, retreating all the way back to the Blight. It's going to take them until April of next year to get there. Who's <laughs> shattered, retreating there? There's an army that's east, way, way eastern Russia, and it's it's shattering for six months. Oh, go ahead. Where? Oh, I see. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. That is a long shatter. Are you just randomly sieging all the provinces out here so we can give them to our vassal? Yeah, I'm trying to siege in a line along Let's that see. path. Let's see. Do you concur? I concur, yes. Good. Totally concur. We are concurring right now. Good. Did you hear about the... Uh... Yeah. The hordes being able the to hordes. burn down development for modern points. I did. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. I like the thought of that because screw development. Just, just, just keep conquering. You'll have all the developments that you want. See, here's the thing. I already did the math on it and it's already broken. I can't wait to try it. Yeah. So, I'll try it. okay. So let's say that you are a horde and you have minus 25% coring cost because hordes do. Right? So you conquer a six development province, right? Mm hmm. When you use the horde mechanic to, to burn down development, it destroys 30% of the development or up to one a minimum of one, 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 one of each type of development, but not less than one. So if it's already down to like three development, one, 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 you can't lower it any farther. Okay, but you but, can lower it from four to three. Yes. So let's say, for example, you attack a six development province, a two, two, two. Okay, you use this thing and you just burn down one, one, one. And every time you burn down one development, you gain 25 of the admin of the monarch point. So you yeah. attack a six development province, and you've burnt it down to a one one one. You've gained 25, 25, 25. Okay. To core, good. to core a three development province at the base of the game is going to be 30 development point. It's going to be three times 10 is 30 admin points. But you're a horde, so you only pay 22.5 admin. Right. Follow me so far. I'm following. And you just got 25 from burning it down. So at the very start of the game, with no ideas at all, no claim, you are gaining monarch points via conquest. Isn't that nice? That's and then if you keep broken. conquering, then you don't care the development went down the first time. Exactly. The game is its going to be broken. I guarantee it's going to be patched right away. It's broken. I can't wait. Because I, I want to do my um, great con achievement with that. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be fantastic. Like, um, if, you, if you get adaptability and a claim, for example then you're going to be gaining like it's going to be a self-perpetuating machine there's going to be nothing to stop you from continuously expanding because you will always have more points and i think that was the idea behind their decision to do that i don't know if it's going to be broken like you say it might be but that was definitely their their idea was the hordes should be act acting that way and they i bet they're the only reason they're doing it is they're trying to encourage the ai to be a better horde yeah, well, if they do it that way, though, they're going to make it so that players are stupidly good hordes. There's going to be there's going to be somebody who exploits it, and I'm not saying it's me, but there's going to be somebody out there who exploits <laughs> the ability to like <laughs> world conquest using this. It won't be me. I wouldn't do that. No, it probably won't be me because I don't really want to do another world conquest. But like, it's going to be a thing where someone's going to conquer the world faster than ever before because they exploit horde mechanics. We need to get a connection in place between AI Smurt along the top here and John Zhu. 
Yeah. Well, we got to siege all that shit then. I'm going to start flipping lands. Okay. Oh, he's a 35 stack. That's bad. But you get a free Froger. Yeah. All right. Well, the timer went off because we, yeah. So now it's probably a good spot, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, take us out. Okay, fine. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you again soon. Um, next week. I'm going to take a week off. Yeah, well, we we're taking a whole week off. You won't even notice it because it's going to be tomorrow for you guys. Yeah. Yeah, sounds about right. But, but we're, we're going to come back and be stupider than ever because we're going to forget about all this stuff. Yep. Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys next time. Okay. See you soon.